Hello. Wait. Hello, ever. Hello, everyone. I'm the Mass Specter, and today we're gonna do something dumb. We're gonna take a BuzzFeed quiz, possibly multiple. I'm still not sure. Which mythical creature are you? Yay! <laughs> Which mythical creature are you? And we're going to just do this because I have no idea. Pick a combination of the elements. Oh god, is this a, is this, oh my god, my screen, I may have to zoom out a little bit. You did not like my zoom. Okay, so it's, it still doesn't like my, okay, maybe it does. Wind and fire, fire and sky, sea and wind, earth and fire, sea and fire, earth and sky, wind and sky. Wait, wind and sky. Wind and sky! WIND AND SKY! You're counting those as two Okay. Earth and wind, sea and earth. Where, where's the... Where was the... Uh, There's the sea and fire. Okay. Now <laughs> scroll down. Okay. Pick a book! I do not read! <laughs> Much. Peter Pan... American Gods. I've heard good things about that one. The Mists of Avalon. The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. The Old Man and the Sea. Harry Potter. The Fellowship of the Ring. Moby Dick and the Hobbit. I think it would honestly be American Gods. I've heard good things about it. I haven't read any of them. I know. I've just lost like all of my parents. What is a hero to you? Someone foolish enough to pick a side. An obstacle. Someone who believes in magic. Someone with a pure heart. Dinner. <laughs> Someone who rises to the occasion. Someone who protects nature. An annoyance. Someone who uses their strength wisely. Well, I so want to say dinner, but that's more of a nightmare answer than a masked answer. <laughs> if the cradles, me the cradles meme probably would have came out before now. If it hasn't, that won't make sense. But <laughs> um. Hmm. A hero is someone who rises to the occasion, by my definition. It's... This, is, this isn't the worst. This isn't the worst. I don't know. Pick a sky! Okay, I shouldn't have said anything. Okay, pick a sky. Um, hmm. This one. <laughs> I don't know what this is. It just exists. What do you look for in a significant other? This is super, uh, none of these. <laughs> I will never have one. Quick wit, tenacity, strong swim, strong swimming skills, <laughs> strong swimming skills, <laughs> strong swimming skills. Okay, longevity, sense of adventure, optimism, level-handedness, money. Playfulness. Okay, I can kind of understand why money's up there. But strong swimming skills! Woo! Woo! Okay. We're gonna go with... We're gonna to go with playfulness. But also strong swimming skills was a, was a very close second. Pick your favorite food. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I just read dumb people. I don't know what that one in the bottom left is. So I'm just going to have to explain that one to me. I don't know. I'm going to have to probably out of these. None of these are technically right. But I'm probably going to have to say like the. I don't know. This looks like. what? What is that? Like, legitimately, I'm not... Is that just a meat variety pack? Like, I'd probably say the berries. Yeah, Storm, shut up. Describe yourself in one word. Hungry! Carefree, mysterious, indestructible, irritable, aloof, evasive, bubbly, flexible. Well... Oh wait, I don't have I don't have face cam. I was gonna do a joke with with the flexible one about how my bone is 
is basically dislocated right now, but never mind that one. Um, where's the carefree? They, they, I was just gonna say carefree. This is this is very dumb, but I'm enjoying this. This is very dumb. Pick a place to live. The place we pick to live. Hmm. Who would want to live out on the sea? I think the place that I would pick to live would probably be here or here. It's because it's secluded. You, you, like, you get... Hmm. Mm. I'm flipping a coin. Heads is mountain villa thing. Tails is cave. Not, not that you can see it, so I don't know why I'm saying it out loud. Cave it is! I'm a fucking dragon. I'm a giant fuck you dragon. That's great. Huh. Hmm. 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 <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Huh. Let's see if we can find another quiz. I'm, I'm gonna see if I can find another quiz. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh my lord. Everyone has a saw trap that matches their personality. Here's yours. We're going to see what this is. This looks fun. Pick a horror movie franchise with an ungodly amount of sequels. All of them. Except Halloween. I think Halloween didn't have that many sequels, did it? It only had, like, what, three? A Scream, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, and Halloween didn't have that many sequels, did they? Like, I know these all had a lot of sequels. Like, Nightmare on Elm Street, Friday the 13th, and Saw all had a lot of sequels. Which one had the most? Because I don't think any of them, unlike most people, I don't think any of them really overstayed their welcome. They just really went, like, off the hinge in terms of insanity, which I like. Uh, I'm just gonna go with Friday the 13th. Just because I know they went all the way to the future one. How much gore can you typically handle in a scary movie? Well, I've watched through all of the Saw movies that I could. And by that, by I mean I could, I mean all the ones that I could either see on television or the ones that I got the discs for. There are a few I think I missed over, but I might need to go back to watch those. So all of the gore, the bloodier the better. I like gore, but only if they use practical effects. Gore is fine if it's not just there for shock value. I'm in the middle, just don't care one way or another. I will vomit if I see seeing about the but I've heard so. I'm probably in the middle, honestly, when it comes to gore. Pick a non horror movie villain. I I have bias. I have high bias to this. Darth Vader, no. Hella, no. Ursula, no. Killmonger, no. Oh. No, you're making me choose between Hannibal Lecter and the Joker? I'm gonna pick the Joker, but you made me think on it for more than a second. How dare you? <laughs> Which of the following colors speaks to you the first the most? Where's the purple? There's no purple. Th there's no purple. I'm going with pink since there's not purple. Don't at me. I'm going with pink since it's not purple. Pick an underrated horror movie. Trick or treat, you're next. Jacob's Ladder, Alice, Sweet Alice. Hush, audition. I actually haven't seen any of these except for trick or treat. So I'm going to pick trick or treat.
Because I actually really like that movie. Which nightmare do you have the most frequently? I don't dream! Like, legitimately, I very rarely actually have a dream. It's just like, go to bed, wake up. <laughs> um... Either that or I forget my dreams immediately. It's So, it's not dying, it's not the car... So, yeah, I... It's just going to have to be the other, because I legitimately, like, forget them immediately and or just don't have them. Finally, fake the Saw movie that... That f movie poster that freaks you out the most. Just the poster. You see, the posters don't really, like, freak me out that much. Like, nothing, nothing's welling up anything. Uh, maybe the original? Like that. That's best. Oh! The angel trap. For those of you who don't know, that's the one where they open up your rib cage. <laughs> why, why do I do this when I know that I'm going to feel the pain? Let, let's go for another one. One that's not Saw related and one that's a little bit more lighthearted. Just a little bit more lighthearted. For Halloween, maybe. Well, no, I can't promise it'll be more lighthearted, but... You know. Whether you're Barbie or more brands. <laughs> School day will plan to pick some puppies, know whether or not you're an introvert or extrovert. Uh, it's, it's time to find out what you... Th this is so dumb. I don't know what I'm doing. These superpowers to choose will reveal what you had for breakfast today. Okay. What's one? Come on, there's gotta be. There's gotta be. <laughs> Come on. There will be another quiz. Ooh! Find out which role you'd play in a horror movie. Probably the victim. And or the side character. Hopefully you're not the first to die. Yeah, that's a good comment to have. So, you get a call from an unknown number. What do you do? Decline the call, wait until they leave a voicemail, text the number. It could be an emergency, so I'd answer it. You see, none of these actually determine what I do. Because normally what I do is, I answer it, but I just completely... You know, I, I'm going to say I answer it, but I answer it and stay completely silent. The caller informs you of an emergency and that you need to come to an unfamiliar location. What do you do? I get my friends to go with me. They're falling right into my trap. Call the authorities. Bring them. Honestly, I probably wouldn't ask too many questions. I'd probably just get a group of friends because of groups. You get to the location, there's an abandoned car in the middle of the road in the shack to the right side of the street. What do you do? Uh, no, no. So, abandoned car, middle of the road, shack on the right side of the street. Just nope away. Yeah, that's not gonna work. Carefully inspect your surroundings. What's your weapon of choice? Hand to hand combat, that's a bad idea. An axe. Just get out of there as fast as I can. Or your wits. It's between an axe and your wits. Because, like, logically speaking. 
Which of these followers best describes you? Okay. All of these, apart from funny, are true. I am vengeful. Okay, maybe I'm not smart. I am vengeful and resourceful when it comes to certain things. Hmm. Actually, I don't have enough of a memory to be vengeful. I, I, that's like the running joke, is that my memory doesn't last long enough for me to be a vengeful about anything. Actually, wait, no, that's not fully true. There are, very, there are very many people that I have killed. I'm gonna... I'm gonna flip a coin! Heads or tails? Heads, vengeful, tails, resourceful. The coin has spoken for vengeful. I don't know why I went Scottish, but I did. Do you think you'll make it until the end of the movie? Maybe. No, I'm the first one to die for sure. I'll be in the sequel. Yes, I'm a fighter. I'm gonna say maybe. The know-it-all. <laughs> Thanks to your immense knowledge on horror movies and your know-it-all attitude, you'd survive through most of the movie. Unfortunately, you got too confident and could not spot the killer. In the end, they got you. Yeah, the funny, the funny part about that to me is that if you go off scream logic, the know-it-all was the killer. Spoilers for Scream, but... Good work, zombie harm. Yeah. But yeah, anyway. I think, I think that's enough stupid for one day. It was fun stupid, but that, that might be enough stupid for today. So, um... Everyone, I'm Mass Spectre. Like if you like it, just like it if you want. Like if you like. So wait, let, wait. Let, first off, let me put this together because I'm kind of tempted to get some friends to take the same quizzes and just see what a movie would be like putting this together. Okay, so a dragon know it all that gets put in an angel trap. That seems very complicated. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just funny to me to do stuff like that. That's just an image. But. I'm the last specter. Like it if you like it. Dislike it if you didn't like it. What is with me in that today? Like it if you like it. Dislike it if you didn't like it. Comment if you want to comment. Follow in the links in the description. Watch any of the other content if you want to. F follow me on Twitter so I don't have to send carry pigeons. I'm the last specter. And goodbye.